we're not doing that. Um, and we will move on because this place is uh, on engineer your life. We heal through conversations, right? We want to hear your story. And there is a, a good two minutes that somebody will take and apply to their own lives. Um, you come from a very black Zulu traditional family, humility, very guarded traditionalist. Um, but you don't present as very feminine. How did you handle that with your parents? Because our parents are smart people. Mm. They can see us and how we present. And have you ever had that conversation with your parents? I have. You did? Yeah. But I feel like um, my conversation or my way of sending it through to them mm -hmm. was done by other people. Really? Or I had a chance to even. Really? Yeah. That's unfair. <laughs> very unfair. It's very un it's painful, actually. <laughs> I feel it like hurts. it was it was done by other people before yeah, I, yeah. I even got a chance yeah. to actually speak. How did they do it? So, um, I don't know what season was it, but it turned on his temple where, okay. where I was going to do Umsonyan. Yes, yes. Uh, that's that, that, that's when, yeah, yeah, yeah. Know what I'm that's when I started like showing on TV a little more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I knew it was coming, mm -hmm. and it came. So people were the one who were telling my parents, who were asking my parents, who were. Sure. So they were having the conversation for me, and it was done for me because what happened was my mom was like, "Is it true?" Mm -hmm, and then I was like. Well, it's like I didn't mentally prepare. <laughs> yeah, my like, mom is not at ease with this conversation. Okay, yet. and now my mom is just like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so I was just like, well, yeah, mm -hmm. and that was just it. That I think that was like a way of me just telling them, okay, yeah, because now people have already done it for me. Yeah, I haven't even yeah, gotten a yeah. chance to say, to actually plan. Okay, this is how I want to say this, and this is how I want to express myself about it. So it was done for me. And my job was to just say yes. Was it a feeling of relief or did you feel exposed that moment when your mom asked you when you didn't prepare to talk to her about it? I feel like it was both. You know? Because at first I was like, damn, ish. like I'm not ready yet yeah. to speak about it. But yeah. then after I had said yeah, I was like, oh, well. Cats out the bag. <laughs> now what? Door yeah. Open. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, yeah. So I was relieved after it, but like it was also. I also feel like it was something that I should have been given the opportunity to actually express. Especially because you were too so young. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I was just sixteen. Like, yeah. come on, guys. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. 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 Like, allow me to be an adult so I can sit my parents down. Yeah. Um, in a respectable manner. Yeah. 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 And have you ever spoken about it with your mom again? No. She just loves you and accepts you and life went on. Yeah. Yeah. Which is beautiful, by the way. You, it's not everything that needs to be discussed. It really isn't everything that needs to be discussed. As you say, you have a WhatsApp group with your mom and your dad. <laughs> you talk to them. They're present. They're there for you, which means they love you. Yes. Which means they accept you fully. I, I want you to leave at least getting that out of this, that you're loved fully by your parents and you continue being supported by them. They're taking you to school. They're allowing you to be yourself, to form into the beautiful person that you are because they love you fully and you're fully accepted. And even online, I can see you're becoming more expressive of who you are. It's because there's a self-acceptance era yeah. that you've entered. <laughs> you know, that is just absolutely beautiful. And we're having this conversation because you're there mentally, emotionally, you know. Um, yeah, let, 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 let's, let's, let's move on. Cause I can, I'm taking you somewhere. <laughs> um, how do you, how do you navigate growing up with, 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 I, I, I want to put this in a respectable manner. There is that where people, uh, talked for you about who you are. And then there's the four years later, Abongwe, who has reached this self-acceptance point. How are you navigating now after this self-acceptance and boldness? How are you navigating who you are right now? Especially now that you live alone in the big bad Joburg. Big bad Joburg. How am I navigating it? Yeah. I don't think I understand the question. How are you navigating being who you are now that you're alone and you're not restricted to being under the shelter of the 
the famous family? I think I still abide by the rules yeah. that I've always been taught. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, even though I'm alone in Joburg, I'm here to learn. I'm here to get a degree. Get educated. I'm not here to, <laughs> I'm not here to live life the way I want. And be a rock star. <laughs> I'm not here to play games. Yeah. So I feel like I still... Even though I'm not directly under the hands of my parents, mm -hmm. I still live under the hands sure. of them. The covering. Yes. Yeah. So I, I think I still took the rules and everything else I had been taught. Is it yeah. 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 And moved on with them. Yeah. Because yeah. they're going to take me further in life. And once I start disobeying those rules, I feel like there's going to be a switch in yeah my life and yeah. things won't same as being humble and respecting other people sure. so if i start taking that and disrespecting that the thing that i have been taught i feel like my life will start taking another turn and things won't go well with, for me when's the last time you cried and what were you crying about the last time <laughs> <laughs> last time i cried yeah hmm <laughs> <laughs> hmm last time i cried I don't know. You do know exactly. <laughs> and then they don't talk about me. I don't joy. I won't. I won't. I don't know. You don't know. Do you cry? Um, I do cry. Me? I do. Cry. And, and does crying make you feel like you just release the burden? Yes. Isn't it? I think crying helps. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it, it helps. You're like, ah, yeah. this is strong for crying. No, I, I do <laughs> cry. <laughs> <laughs> well, like straight after crying, you feel like, you know, I'm fine now. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you just, move. yeah, you just yeah. super strong. You're like, ah, yeah. Pinung <laughs> morning. You're moving on with your life. Yeah. And thank you for confirming that it was about a relationship. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Mm. Mm. <laughs> I was like, go to Westfoot. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Bo. Hi, Bo. Hi, my dad. <laughs> yeah, Joburg ish. Eh, the dating pool. <laughs> Very messy. <laughs> Use one hour. <laughs> Use one hour. Who you pray to? Who do I pray to? Mm. I pray to you, God. Yeah, and what do you, and what what is the most consistent prayer that you pray to God? Uh, protection. Protection. Yeah. I think I pray for protection over my family. Yeah, and me here the most, and guidance, and gratitude. Gratitude, ne? yeah, 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 yeah. I think those are the three things I never leave out. Do you, as you're growing older, do you see the importance of a personal relationship with God versus a relationship that you're taught by Undain, like the corporate prayers? Yes, ne? I do. I do. Uh, I feel like you need to have your own relationship with God mm -hmm. instead of the one that you have been taught by your parents or whoever. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, it's your journey, mm -hmm. not your parents. Yeah. It's, it's just you and God. Yeah. It's yeah. not your parents and whoever else's journey it's yours did you ever feel were you ever at a point where in your spiritual journey with god where you felt not good enough to be talking to god hmm. i know i have absolutely where i felt like certain things i've done or how i am especially because both you and i are zulu we grow up in a traditional sense where we're still very at the bottom of our self-acceptance. We feel like God doesn't want this. This is wrong. I'm a sinner. I'm this. Instead of understanding that I am created by God like this. This is who I am. And who I am is exactly how God wanted me to be. So, so I say I have yes to your question. Yeah. 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 Because of those reasons you ne, just dated. Yeah. Ne, yeah. I, I, I fully relate. Because you... There is God, the relationship, and there is God that is presented by people that they think you should fit into. But when you get older, it's so freeing because God, the relationships, is so free. God, the God of grace that we pray to, is so comforting and protecting and loving. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ne? 
Yeah, yeah. How are you? I want to go back to the fame thing. How do you think? Uh, what are your plans for the fame? Because there are a lot of people. It's like, oh, oh, we're famous. Let's get drunk and party and be rock stars. <laughs> What are your plans for the numbers? Because numbers means influence. My plans for yeah. fame. Um, I don't think it's something that I've actually thought and dwelled on. Because mm -hmm. I feel like right now, I just have to get the small things in my life straight. Okay. So such as getting my degrees. So yeah. I'm not focusing more on the fame. Sure. Instead, I'm focusing on getting my life together. together. Yeah. 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 Instead of the fame. So, yeah, I think I focus more on getting my life together. And the fame is something that I put at the back of my head so it doesn't actually consume mess me. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't yeah. consume me. Because yeah. there's a lot of things. I'm still young. There's a lot of things that I need to accomplish in my life. Sure. On your own. So, yes, on yeah. my own. So yeah. that's why also I have to have my own things instead of depending on the fame because sometimes fame doesn't work for you. Ish. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't work for you. And sometimes it destroys you. See, so yeah. if you let it consume you, then it might destroy you. So, how do you how do you how do you navigate um, not getting involved in your father's marriages? Hey, how do I navigate that? I just don't. Because they <laughs> are they are kids who will have problems with. That father's wife because of this, like, who's fucking dabin? You get what I mean? I get that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I don't need to navigate anything yeah. around that because I know Uguti in the Bazavanda Batara, I'm getting so. Yeah. Yeah. So, no one got figure man, she bang and a bazo 